Hey y'all, how y'all doing? How you feeling today? I hope you're doing great. I hope everything is going well for you. Yes, some more British stuff. Yes, I know. I know. For the people who've been uh, subscribed to my channel for a long time, for years, probably like, why is she just, why is she doing all these British videos? Because I love it. I enjoy it. It's fun. I love my British people. <laughs> Well, I try to upload like different type of views for everybody. You know, I try to try to do it for everybody. I don't want my channel to be stuck on just one thing. So yeah, <laughs> I want my channel to me, you know, me reacting to all different type of videos. But uh, in different countries too, I, you know, if you if there's any other countries you would like me to react to, you know, comment below. Let me know. Um, cause so far I did Germany. But I didn't do too much Germany, but I'm, I need I have videos I need to start doing with Germany, uh, Sweden. I have. Oh, I didn't upload it yet, but I have a video for Sweden, so I'll be uploading that soon. And other countries, um, I have one also, I'm looking at my board. I have Australia, Singapore, South Africa, what else? And that's it so far. <laughs> and this one here is British words that are rude in America. British words that's rude in America? I thought we heard it all. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so this, this should be fun. So let's get started. <laughs> Wait, what is, you know, when you play GTA Grand Theft Auto, the girls that are out there in the streets. A weird walk like this. I know, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina from the USA. Hi, I'm Lauren from the UK. Can you think of any? I don't know. I can't think of any on the top of my head, but I'm sure that there are definitely words. Mm. <laughs> I don't, I can't think of any words. New prostitute. <laughs> hooker. Wait, what is it? I mean, hooker in the US would be like, A you know, the girls. I love how you're like going, getting ready to do the action. <laughs> You know, when you play GTA Grand Theft Auto, the girls that are out there doing the, the streets, weird walk, like yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The late night girls, you know. Mm -hmm. But in the UK, so hooker in the UK is a position in rugby. Oh, which is a sport, you know, with like yeah. the yeah. shaped ball. You know, I know rugby, but I like don't know anything about rugby. Yeah. <laughs> it's not to popular. To be honest, in the US. I don't really know a lot about rugby, but my younger cousin played rugby, and his position was hooker and the first time I heard it I was like excuse me yeah see like you say that can you imagine that somebody told me that I'd be like I probably wouldn't even say that I'd probably look at them like you're a hooker <laughs> I'm sorry like what? your position is a hooker <laughs> that's his position in the team yeah <laughs> yeah in the UK loaded means really rich yeah like, oh she's loaded I that too in the, in the yeah, US. Yeah, we use that. Loaded. You loaded. I think maybe, maybe. We use, we use that too. You know, we use that. Loaded. loaded. Being you very did. drunk. Maybe you got from money. different you areas loaded. in the US. Oh. I think in the, the East Coast, I don't hear it too much. Mm. We usually say wasted. Wasted. I'm from, I'm from the East Coast. We use the word loaded. <laughs> so yeah. For being very drunk. But it could be different in other places in the US. Yeah. It's absolutely loaded. Dude. That would be really weird though yeah. for me if you were like, oh, he's loaded. I'd be like, what? <laughs> What's a dummy in America? I know both, like a dummy, mm. like a pacifier. But yeah, like dummy, you stupid. You're, you're stupid. Like, dumb, dumb, dummy. <laughs> dummy could be you stupid, or sometimes I don't know different states. I'll if I hear dummy, I'm thinking either I'm thinking either you're stupid or it could be a mannequin. So yeah, we call mannequin. Dummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we say dummy for pacifier. I actually didn't mm. know what a pacifier was. I just learned it from watching TV shows, but the first time I heard it, I was like, what's a pacifier? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of different words for pacifier. Like growing up, I think there's a brand called like, Binky. And oh. so I remember growing up, just I don't from know. Massachusetts, we would, say, I don't know. we would say Binky. 
Oh, that's so Binky. Yeah, instead of pacifier. <laughs> but dummy, also I think dummy, like a like a fake person. A mannequin. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like not like a statue, but like a dummy, you know, like in a store. Mannequin. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, a dummy or a mannequin. Yeah. yeah like yeah. a, like a, where you mm. put the clothes on. So yeah. if you said, oh, can you get the dummy? Like, okay, this is like weird Imagine scenario. Imagine I have a baby. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like there's a baby and like it's a pa there's a pacifier. Like, oh, can you go to the other room while you hold the baby? Can you go to the other room and get the dummy? And I'd be like, oh, okay. And then maybe I'll get like a mannequin out or- No, there's <laughs> not gonna be a mannequin or, in my house. Or I'm like, who's the most- Who's the stupid person in your room, Lauren? <laughs> get them out and be like, you want this, this person? No, take them away. <laughs> I feel like from context you could get it. Yeah, maybe. yeah, because I've also heard dummy before as pacifier, but I think maybe not so common. It really depends too yeah. in the US because we use different words. Yeah, I haven't heard that. Uh, I don't really hear that. So. so homely in the UK. Homely, it's like comfortable. comfortable, cozy. Like you're at home, you Great. just you can relax there. It's nice and cozy. We, if for that, we would say homey. Homey. Yeah. Homey. Yeah. Homey. I don't think this generation uses the word homey. That's like that was like in the like in the the nineties. I would say like the early nineties. So in the eighties, I believe it was in the eighties. No, it was more in the nineties, I believe. Where guys were like, yo, that's my homie. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my friend. That's my homie. And homely, um, I didn't even know what's the L in it. So we usually just say homie, like, your house is so homey. I mean, like, it's so comfortable. It's just nice and warm and comfortable. Your house is just so homey. <laughs> homey, not homely. Not homely. Yeah, so it's a, it's a little different. Yeah. Like, oh, this house is really, really homey. homey. It's really yeah. Comfortable. But yeah. if you say homely, I know it can be like maybe an insult for older people. Like you're kind of like run down and old and so <laughs> it's a little different. I mean, it's that kind of that. the opposite of what you would <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it can be kind of like an insult. I didn't it's know that. Different. I did I not think know the that. best one was hooker. I was gonna say that too. Hooker was really funny. Can you imagine yeah. like having a conversation with someone? Oh, my position is a hooker. I'm a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you go to the US and tell someone, because people in the US, they don't really know about rugby, the sport. Mm -hmm. so no. If you say hooker, then they're gonna think it's something else completely. Imagine. Also, like, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a hooker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you tell somebody here in America that you're a hooker, I'm telling you, they're gonna look at you funny. They're gonna be like, excuse me, what you what you just said? You're a hooker? You're a hooker. Ah, huh. okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so no, I'm a sportsman. If you're from the UK and you're traveling to the US and you are playing rugby, maybe <laughs> you should be careful and say that you play rugby First, yeah. your position is a hooker. Purse? Oh, purse? Yeah. Wait, what's purse in the UK? Purse yeah, purse in the UK. Like yeah, a bag mm -hmm. that you that you carry. Like a pocketbook. Yeah. In the UK, it's wallet. Oh, my purse. Your purse is yeah. a wallet. Yeah, and this is a bag. Or uh, handbag. We would say purse or like pocketbook. Pocketbook? <laughs> Have you heard that? <laughs> pocketbook. Yeah. Well, I, I don't really call it pocket. I do call it a bag. I call it a bag too. I call it a bag. But the, the female, well, we don't call it. Well, she said a wallet. Wallet is a purse. We don't call that purse. We just call that a wallet. So yeah, a little different. So yeah, we will say purse is like yeah, a little wallet. Oh yeah, we just say wallet. The wallet in your purse. Put the purse in your bag. <laughs> But the yeah. purse. <laughs> and yeah. if I was gonna say like, oh, I'll give you a ring later. I mean, I would. Say I'll call you later. Like ring <laughs> or ring. Yeah, ring. Yeah, ring. Um, I'll call I'll you later. I'll give you a ring. We always say ring for calling somebody. Yeah, I've heard that before, but it's not too common. Maybe like older people say that in the US. <laughs> like I can hear my parents saying that. For my friends, they'll they'll usually just say, oh, I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Yeah, I think back in the days, I don't know, y'all still use that? Y'all still say that ring? Because I know back in the days, the older people will say, I'll give you a ring. 
that's the older people. <laughs> I don't hear like the I don't really hear people say that anymore, but I think like my grandmother, my great grandmother would say, I'll, I'll give you a ring. Yeah, mm. I'll ring you later. Wait, and you guys also say ring, like ring up for the supermarket, right? Ah, yeah. yeah we don't say that like at oh, all. I don't know, okay. we say scan. I think it's more common to say ring. Mm. I've heard scan too, but I think ring. Can I ring up your items? Yeah, ring. Ooh. Okay, so. I kind of like the word scan better. It makes more sense than ring. I never, do I ever say, I'm trying to remember if I ever, I used to work in a store. Oh yeah, I did use the word ring. Do you want me to ring you up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been so long ago that I work in a retail store, but I think I remember saying, can you, do you like me to ring you up? So yeah. <laughs> but scan is better, scan makes more sense because you're really scanning it, you know? So today we went over some words that have different meanings in the US and the UK. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment down below on what you would like to see in the future. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so is there any other words that you think that might be rude in America? Comment below. I'm just curious. I would like to, I do read comments y'all. So comment below. Let me know if they missing any other words. I would love to read them and uh yeah so i will definitely do more so subscribe to my channel and also don't forget these videos here and uh let me know what's the next video what is the next video comment below let me know what's the next video and i'll see a lovely people take care of yourself bye and peace